Good morning. My name is Stanisław Kur and I'm going to show some interesting facts from last month. Let's start with the hottest topic of November, ISIS tax in Paris. It's obvious that you should care about our safety. Unidentified refugees coming from the Middle East can be connected with dangerous organizations. Internet portal Onet writes about the 13th of November. The attacks start in the evening. 129 people were killed while 350 were wounded. Some of the terrorists were from France and Belgium and others were from Middle East, especially from Syria. The attacks took place in six different places, Inter Alia in Batakalan Club and National Stadium. The Sunday Morning Herald informs about race travel warning to France and Belgium. What is more, the warning hasn't fallen until now. Let's move to the culture. Terrace Rock writes about a big gig in Krakow. A famous rock band, Foo Fighters, played there. It was the last concert with a stiffener on Dave Gross leg. Onet informs that the last Foo Fighters gig in Poland was in 1996 in Sopot. That's why tickets were so desirable. The performance lasted nearly three hours. It started with well-known hit Everlong. Polish fans created an enormous Polish flag from red and white cards. During the song Learn to Fly, all of them transformed into small planes. Time for social news. Nasze Miasto provides information about big protests in Warsaw. Change of judges in Constitutional Court bothers supporters of Platforma Obywatelska, Zjednoczona Lewica and Nowoczesna. That's why Komitet Obrony Demokracji organization that opposes current government was protesting near Polish parliament on Wieska Street. Newsweek adds that protests started at 12 a.m. and intended to end at 3 p.m., but they were interrupted by an anonymous information about a possible bomb planting, so they ended at 2 p.m. Sport now. On 16th of January, Peter Prefts won ski flying world championship title and set hill record in Bad Mitteldorf in Austria, as Daily Mail writes. Kenneth Jeans was second and Stefan Kraft was third. Competition ended after the third round because of strong wind. Many other contestants could have competed for the first place, but weather excluded a big amount of them. Best Polish ski jumper, David Kubacki, finished the competition on 15th place. Let's move to the weather now. Interior shows temperature from 18 to 24th of January. This week is not going to be warm. Temperature will be below zero. Every day is going to be warmer on the west of Poland. Air pressure will hesitate near 120 hectopascals. It will be rainy and sunny until Sunday. Wind will occur, but not very strong. This is the last point of today's press review. Let's focus on the air pollution. The Guardian writes about UK environment ministers going to speed up plans to reduce urban air pollution. Firm Clyde Earth warned it would look for urgent curt action because of raised air pollution in cities. The main problem is nitrogen dioxide. Cars and other mechanical vehicles produce too much NO2, which is level. Over 23,500 people are expected to die before they come of age. One of the Guardian's journalists, Justin Thornton, says, Imagine if knife crime or terrorism were killing people in these numbers. It would be described as a national crisis. Client Earth seems to clear air zones over London, Manchester, Edinburgh and Cardiff in five years' time. We hope it will get better, better and people won't be forced to fight for the clean air. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the press review. Don't forget to see us next month. Goodbye.